EastEnders Christmas spoilers reveal all the drama coming to Albert Square this festive season. What are the EastEnders Christmas spoilers this year? It's going to be the best Christmas Walfords ever seen. Some deluded character seems to declare every year on Albert Square, but we viewers at home know it's really not going to be, and we love it. More than any other soap, EastEnders seems to go all out for Christmas TV drama, and this year is no exception, with a double wedding, a killer secret, and a wicked seduction all on the cards. So, let's reveal this 2021's Big EastEnders festive plots, and don't miss our Emmerdale Christmas spoilers 2021 and Coronation Street Christmas spoilers 2021 pieces. EastEnders Christmas spoilers. Janine gets her Klaus in. It becomes clear what Janine wants to unwrap this Christmas, and with Linda away from Walford, will lonely landlord Mick fall for her questionable charms? Wanting Mick all to herself, Janine meddles between Zach and Nancy to get Mick's daughter out of the way. And as she dresses herself up in a sexy Mrs. Claus outfit, it seems she's ready to make her move. But how will Mick react? Later, when Mick declares he wants his family back together for New Year, Janine springs into action, armed with new information about Linda's alcoholism. It looks like Mick's new start for the New Year could turn out to be a crushing disappointment, and who will he turn to if it does? Gray's Killer Wedding There's much excitement in the square as Jack and Denise prepare to tie the knot alongside Gray and Chelsea. But with wit on the case over Gray's terrible crimes, will either pair make it to the altar? Having seen Gray's dark side, Wit has been spurned on by the words of his former boss, Laura. She is determined to expose Gray as the evil manipulator he is, and stop Chelsea from saying, I do. But when even her biggest ally, Kirat, accepts an invitation to the wedding, Wit begins to feel she's fighting an uphill battle. But a night out at the Vic's best spouse in the Ooze event changes all that. A chance remark from Eve gives Wit a new lead and soon she finds evidence that Chantel's death was no accident. Soon, Wit prepares to tell Chelsea what she needs to hear. As Gray and Jack wait at the altar, will we see any happy ever afters this Christmas? Sharon's lonely this Christmas. With Jada still missing, Sharon faces a sad time. Desperate to find her granddaughter Alyssa, she is disappointed when Phil's private investigator fails to come up with any leads. Martin and Zach try and cheer her up by decorating the house for Christmas, but when they break an ornament that belonged to Dennis, Sharon loses it and throws them out. Later, Zach confesses his guilt over warning off Jada to Nancy. But when she later lets this slip to Martin, all hell breaks loose. Is Sharon facing her loneliest Christmas yet? Kim quits the square. Despite the sisters being a loggerheads over Vincent's death, an emotional Denise reveals to Kim how much it would mean to have her there on her wedding day. When Kim tells her she'll consider it, Denise is delighted, convinced her sister is prepared to forgive and forget on her big day. Excited, Denise reveals to Chelsea that Kim is coming to the wedding, but little does she know that Kim has told the kids they are moving to Scotland, and is making the final arrangements for them all to leave. Rocky's lies exposed. Rocky's in a pickle when both Sonia and Kathy expect him for Christmas dinner. Meanwhile, Dottie grows dangerously annoyed at her uncle's attitude to her, especially when he badmouths her mum. Dottie gloats as she scuppers Rocky's plan to make Sonia think her oven is broken, so they can all spend the day at Kathy's. And as tensions rise, the note Rocky left on the day he was planning to leave Walford comes to light. As Rocky freezes in horror, is Sonia about to discover the terrible truth about her so-called father? Eve throws Stacy into battle. Stacy has a new career in mind, as Eve helps her get an interview for the market inspector role. There's one unexpected problem, however, her ex-hubby Martin is also going for the job. The pair decide to be grown up about it and agree to let the best person win. However, when Stace realizes that Eve has added a few embellishments to her CV, she has to roll with it at the interview. But when the interviewer later witnesses Ash lay into Stacy and Eve, has Stace blown her chance? Stuart's secret sends Rainey off the rails. With Stuart still refusing to reveal his cancer diagnosis to Rainey, Sonia begs him to let his wife support him through it. Knowing something is going on with her hubby, Rainey ropes in Callum to try and get Stuart to open up, but to no avail. Frustrated, Rain heads down to the Albert and loses herself in a party there. 
But what will she do when a handsome man sends her over a drink? Zack and Nancy reunited. We all know they're meant to be together, but the small matter of Zack's part in Nancy being mown over by his car and nearly killed has seen their relationship hit the skids. However, this Christmas we see the pair grow closer, as Zack confides in Nancy over the Jada situation, before they later they head off together on a New Year's Eve mission. Can they start 2022 with a clean slate? Phil and Kat's awkward Christmas Kat is aghast when Sharon arrives for Christmas dinner, with Phil not having told anyone that he invited her. Sharon and Phil reminisce, leading Kat to get increasingly frustrated at her boyfriend and his ex. Later, Phil is delighted when Denise relents and lets him see little Raymond over Christmas. However, Sharon soon realizes something is afoot. What is Phil up to? And can Sharon help sort things out? Dana pushes Aaron to the edge. Dana and Bobby seem closer than ever this Christmas, when she tells him she wants to learn more about Islam and visit the mosque. Bobby is delighted, but how will Dana's brother Aaron feel? Soon, his dad, Harvey, is giving Aaron some advice, but will he heed it, or could his sister's new interest push him to the limit?